Hello everyone. My name is Franklin Avangana. Welcome to my online tutorials, where I give you the insight on emerging technological issues affecting matters in education. Subscribe to my channel, so that you don't miss out on my upcoming tutorials. Subscription is free, you won't be charged anything instead, you will be notified whenever I upload a new video. Welcome, and keep on learning. Hi, this is Franklin Abnana. Welcome to part 2 of my tutorial on how to create a timetable in ASC School Timetabling Software. Welcome. Here is our demo timetable or you can open it from the desktop. So I'll click on it. Just to open. And then I'll go to specification. Under specification, we have this icon there the wizard click on wizard and then go to the base you can see this is where we set our bells in our previous tutorial now i'll click on ok and then down here we have the next button so click on next then we have these parameters which you are supposed to set. If you are not sure of, just leave them the way they are by default. But I normally set the subjects, that's the common name we normally use in our institutions. And then learners are normally organized into classes and click yes. The rest I normally select no. So you can just go through to see which ones are applicable to your institution and you can adjust them accordingly they will help in generation of your timetable so the rest and select no done I'll click on next and then from this point I can now enter the subjects this is our second area of discussion on how to enter the subjects in ASC software in CPC curriculum we refer to subjects as the learning areas now for grades one two to three we have a total of 10 learning areas that is english language activities kiswahili language activities mathematical activities environmental hygiene literacy christian religious education uh, past, uh, pastoral programs instructions physical health education and creative arts so i'll show you how you can set all those learning areas or subjects so that they are fed into the ASC school timetabling software. Welcome. Now, in this interface, we shall have the name of the subject in this first column. We shall have the abbreviation in the second column. After the location of lessons, we shall have count of the lessons. But for now, let us enter the subjects. Click on the new tab. This is the new tab. Then type in the name of the subject. So my first subject will be English language activities. I'll just write English. Abbreviation ENG. Click on OK. Click on New to add the second subject. That's Kiswahili language activities. I'll just type in Kiswahili. Abbreviation KIS. Click on OK. The third 
subject we have mathematical activities we just write mathematics application mat it okay my fourth subject we have environmental activities and just write environmental application env it okay fifth subject or learning area we have hygiene abbreviation hyg click on okay the sixth lesson we have literacy abbreviation L-I-T it okay the seventh lesson we have Christian religious education Christian religious education that is CRA click on ok my eighth learning area or subject we have pastoral programs instruction pastoral instruction that is PPI click on ok the ninth lesson or second last lesson we have physical health education will be PHE click on OK and then the last lesson sorry the last subject or learning area we have creative art abbreviation or short form we have the CA we normally put a forward sh a slash in between remember the short form here are the ones that will appear in the time table print out you can't have the whole name in the time table because of the minimum space click on ok so these are the learning areas already ended all the 10 learning areas for grade 1, 2 and 3 under the CBC curriculum. Join me in part 3 how we shall be discussing how to enter classes and generating classrooms. Bye. I hope you have learned something from this tutorial. If so, give this video a big thumbs up, comment, and share. Above all, subscribe to my channel and hit that bell on so that you don't miss out on my upcoming uploads. Thank you for watching. See you then.